Howdy, Solo Man here. Now, I've been wearing it mostly on the left today, and most of the people listening to this are guys, so you're gonna know what I mean. So, anyway, enough about that. So, does our memory and what we recollect get warped sometimes? I mean, you know, you say, when I was younger, the summers were longer, they were hotter, that sort of thing. But were they really? So I'm going to run a couple of things past you and see what you think. Now, we all remember, or a lot of us remember, about roasting marshmallows. Ah, yes. We all have fond memories of roasting marshmallows beside the lake or the river at night with a nice fire going. And if you say it to people, they smile, they have a warm feeling about it. But why? Because I really think about it, I hardly ever got a marshmallow from the stick over the fire into my mouth. Most of them caught fire and fell off the stick, and a lot of them just melted off the stick into the fire. And when I did get a marshmallow eventually into my mouth after roasting it, it burnt my mouth because it stuck on everything, stuck on my lip, my tongue, and burnt it quite badly. And I bet you a lot of people's experience with toasty marshmallows is very similar. So our memories warp it. I guess it's the thought of it is the good thing. And here's another one. Going out drinking with the guys. Oh yes, we all like to do that. And it brings a smile to our faces, doesn't it? But let's look at it in reality. So you arrange a place to meet and a time. And there's lots of people coming. But you find out when you get there that a lot of the people haven't turned up and some of them are late. And the people that haven't turned up have used really lame excuses. But never mind, we're going to go ahead anyway. And we order our drinks and we start talking. And it starts off quite reasonable. Then we have another drink. And now the conversation's starting to turn into a lot of bullshit. So you all decide to go somewhere else, but you can't decide where to go. So that takes a while. You finally get to this other place and order some more drinks. And now talk some more bullshit. And after a couple of more drinks, you're really all talking bullshit and hardly understand each other. But you're all talking really serious now and you're changing things in the world and it really makes a lot of sense. Eventually, after you spend about a hundred pounds or more, with two or three of your friends still owing you a drink, you all decide to go home. And as you live where you do, you have to get a taxi. Bit expensive, but it gets you home. You finally stumble in your door and you should go to bed. But no, you have to have that toasted cheese sandwich that always happens. You make a complete mess of the kitchen. And you may smash something as well. Finally, you're falling asleep eating your toasted cheese sandwich. You go to bed and collapse. If you have work the next day, you usually end up getting up late. And you're late for work. And all day you have a hell of a hangover. But if you don't have work, you get up late anyway, and as soon as you get up, most of the day's over. And somebody asks you, did you have a good time last night? And you say, yeah, it was really good fun. Although you can't remember what you said, or what your friend said. And you vaguely remember where you went. But you do remember that you had £150 in your pocket that you don't have anymore. But do we think of it that way? Of course not. Somebody asks us to go out again, we go, yeah, I loved it, it was great fun. So it is funny how your brain picks out all the good little things in your memory and discards the not so good things. And speaking about going out for a drink with the guys, because this is a guy thing, see if you know what I mean. You go out and you meet your friends, but they already had two beers before you got there and you can't understand half the things they're talking about. You think they're talking a bit gibberish, and they're laughing at things that isn't really funny. And you know the only solution. You quickly drink three beers real quickly, and all of a sudden they start talking sense again. You have now joined the group. Those are just a couple of things. You guys got any other things you'd like to add? You just come right ahead. Oh yes, another phenomenon is that females get prettier the more you drink. Even the ones that weren't pretty to begin with. Take it easy.